Hey, Wagwan. It's Mr. Garfield here, and we're going to be looking at a differential equation question from the Cape Integrated Mathematics 2015 specimen paper. All right. So here the question says that in 2014, a company's net income was $16 million. The rate of change of the net income n since 2014 is known to be n prime of x, and that is equal to 6 over x plus 0.5 million dollars per year where x is the number of years since 2014 and x is less than four, okay? Now part one says we, that we are to show, yes, part one says that we're to show that the expression for the net income n of x is given by n of x equals six times the ln of x plus 0.5 plus 20.2, all right? And part two says that we are to calculate the company's net income in 2018, that is when x equals four, all right? Let's do the first part of the solution here. So this is part one solution, all right? Now, part one says that we are to show that the net income, the expression for the net income n of x is given by this. Now, they gave us the derivative, all right? So they told us that n prime, of x is equal to six divided by x plus 0.5, all right? Now, in order to calculate n of x, all right, the original function n of x, all right, I will have to integrate this function here, all right, I would have to integrate the derivative with respect to x. Now remember that integration and differentiation are inverse processes, all right? So if I integrate a derivative, I will get back the, I will get back the original function, all right? Good. So always remember that. So this is now going to be equal to the integral of n prime of x, which you know is six divided by x plus 0.5. I will integrating that with respect to x. Great. Now, 6 over x plus 0.5 can be written as 6 multiplied by 1 over x plus 0.5, right? So I can take out any constant outside of the integral. So just recall here, if I have the integral of a constant k being multiplied by f of x, and, I, and I'm integrating with respect to x, then I can say that this is going to be equal to k multiplied by the integral of f of x dx, where k is some real number, right? So I can write this integral here as six multiplied by the integral of one divided by x plus 0.5, all right? And I'm integrating that with respect to x. Good. Now, what do you recognize here? So recall the rule now that says that if I have the integral, all right, let's say I have a function of x in the denominator and in the numerator, I have its derivative, all right, and I'm integrating with respect to x, then that is gonna be equal to ln absolute value of the denominator plus the arbitrary constant of integration C, all right? Meaning that if I have the integral of one over x plus 0.5, you recognize that when I differentiate x plus 0.5, I will get one, and one is in the numerator. That is, that is the derivative of the denominator, right? So I can write that integral as the ln absolute value of the denominator, so that's x plus 0.5, plus the arbitrary constant of integration c. Now remember that we had the six in front, all right? So that's six times that function there, good. And that is going to give us our n of x. All right, great. So that is what we have. Okay, so this is what we call our general solution. All right, our general solution. That's our general solution of the differential equation. Okay, now our aim now is to find c. How will I find the value of C. All right, let's go back to the question here. Look at this part here. 
it says that in 2014, a company's net income was $16 million. All right. In 2014, the company's net income was $16 million. And remember that it says that where X, all right, so where X is the number of years since 2014. Remember, I told us that as well, right? So what this is actually telling us is that when X is zero, it means that our net income is going to be equal to $16 million, okay? So let me just write that down here. So it is given that, it is given that N of zero is gonna be equal to 16, all right? So when X is zero, the net income is $16 million. So all I have to know is, is to find the value of C, right? I want to find the value of C, so I'm just going to substitute X as zero, all right? So N of zero, is gonna be equal to six times the ln. Now, zero plus 0.5 is just 0.5. And 0.5 is a positive value. So there's no need for the absolute value symbol there. All right, so I'm just gonna put 0.5 here, plus the arbitrary constant of integration C. Now remember that the absolute value symbol is just there, just in case that the, that the value inside of the brackets there. The x plus 0.5, just in case that value there is negative, right? If that value is negative, then you have to include it, the absolute value symbol, which will make it positive, all right? So N of zero is six times the ln of 0.5 plus C, and it told us that N of zero is 16. So that means that this here is equal to 16, and that is equal to six times the ln of 0.5 plus C. Now to find the value of C, I'm just going to subtract both sides of the equation by six ln of 0.5. And if I do that, I can say that C is going to be equal to 16 minus six ln of 0.5, all right? And if I put that into my calculator, I will get 20.2, and this is rounded to three significant figures, all right? Three significant figures. In your exam, you have to round your, your figures to that, all right? Unless you're told otherwise. Great. So therefore, therefore, I can say that N of X is going to be equal to 6 multiplied by the ln absolute value of X plus 0.5. All right? Plus C, and my C value is 20.2. All right? And that is what they asked us to show, right? Yes, that is what they asked us to show. Six times the ln of x plus 0.5 plus 20.2. So I can see shown. All right, I'm gonna come down here and see shown. Great. So part one of, the, of this question is now completed. All right, so I can tick off that. Part two says to calculate the company's income in 2018. That is when X is equal to four. So now that I know this here, all right? And by the way, this is what we call the particular solution. Okay, let me just insert that as well. This is what we call the particular solution of the differential equation. All right, particular solution. Great. So the particular solution is the one, is the, is the expression that doesn't have the C inside. All right? Yes, the particular solution is the expression that doesn't have the C, right? The one that does have the C is what we call the general solution. Great. So part two now, all right, part two solution. Part two says, that calculate the company's net income in 2018, that is when X equals four. So since we know the expression for the net income, all right, which is what we just found a while ago, that is N of X equals six times the LN, absolute value of X plus 0.5 plus 
plus 20.2, all right? Um, we want to find the, the company's net income in 2018, that is when X equals four. So X equals four, we get six times the LN of four plus 0.5. Notice that I use the brackets here instead of the absolute value sign because four plus 0.5 is gonna give me a positive value. Plus 20.2, all right? So N of four is gonna be equal to six times the LN of four plus 0.5 plus 20.2. If you put that into your calculator, you will get $29.2 million, all right? $29.2 million. And it is rounded off to three significant figures, of course. All right, so three significant figures. Great. And that is our solution to part two of this differential equation question. All right. So I hope that this video was helpful. Okay. If it was, please ensure to like up the video and subscribe to the channel. All right. All the best on your exam next week, Monday. Okay. I am Mr. Garth Reed, Student Ambassador for the University of Technology, Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.